first at six, thieves steal copper wiring that shut down telephone service, and one of the homes without service caught fire and a man died inside. Now that man's stepson wonders if things would have turned out differently had the victim been able to call 911. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. News on 6's Amy Slanchek joins us with that story. Amy? Lori and Craig, Jerry Harold thanks his neighbor down the street for noticing the flames in the middle of the night and knocking on his door to wake him up so they could try to help his stepdad, Joe. But Jerry says he's now left to wonder what if Joe had been able to call 911 when the fire started. Investigators say 74-year-old Joe Cartland died at the hospital after his house caught fire. Joe's stepson, Jerry, and a neighbor broke down a door trying to save him. We both took a leg and pulled him all the way to the mailbox, and by that time the house was engulfed. My stepdad is no longer here, and it... It could have been possibly because he couldn't call 911. The phone company Windstream says the outage in Broken Arrow was caused by copper thieves who stole about 250 feet of copper wire on Friday. Windstream says the thieves left behind about 800 additional feet of cable on the ground. The company says the crime left more than 150 customers without service. Jerry and his stepdad Joe were two of those customers. Jerry, who lived next door to his stepdad, showed us what happens when he dials 911. There's no dial tone and the phone says in use, no line. Windstream says in an email it started making repairs on Friday when the outage started, but the damaged cable contained hundreds of copper pairs that had to be re-spliced at both ends of the cut, meaning our crews had to make a total of 4,800 splices. Customers returned to service as their individual pairs were spliced. Jerry says Joe just got a cell phone two weeks ago and was still learning how to use it. He realizes he'll never know if his stepdad tried to make a 911 call. It's the what if that gets you. Windstream is offering a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction for the copper theft. If you have any information at all, call Broken Arrow Police. Amy Slanchuk, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.